This place got hit hard, Commander. Hot. What the hell are those? Gas bags. Don't worry, they're harmless. Oh god. What happened here? Sometimes Marines die. The rest of us just have to carry on. We still have to find that beacon. Aye, aye, ma'am.
Down. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. He the one in charge here, ma'am? Give me a status report, Williams. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. You just left the rest of your unit behind to die? We held our position as long as we could. The Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. Lieutenant Elenko and I will take care of this. Let me come with you, ma'am. The Geth slaughtered my unit. Give me a chance to get even. She knows the area, Commander. And we could use the extra firepower. Just don't forget who's in charge. Understood, Commander. You give the orders and I'll follow them. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Tell me everything you know about the Beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins, and the Beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the Beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the Beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. Move out! The beacon's at the far end of this trench. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. Let's get moving. Williams, where's the camp? It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there.
Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Oh god, they're still alive! What did the Geth do to them? engaged. Humans, thank the Maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. How did you end up in this shed? We hid here during the attack. They must have come here for the beacon. Luckily it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment, the next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers. Bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside. Gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the Prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here, before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry. Manuel's still a bit... unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well-preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances, who knows what secrets are locked inside. We have unearthed the heart of evil, awakened the beast, unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please, this isn't the time. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit... unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Say goodnight, Manuel. You cannot silence the truth. My voice must be heard. <coughs> Oh my god! What did you do? That might have been a little extreme, Commander. You can't just go around whacking people in the head! It was only a matter of time till he did something crazy and dangerous. I suppose you're right. By the time he wakes up, the meds will have kicked in. Williams, take us to the spaceport. Good luck, Commander. Saren. Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? 
The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! I like the way you hid behind those crates during the fight. Really helped us out. Thanks a lot. Me? But but I'm just a dock worker. I don't even have a weapon. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. What the hell are you talking about? There were two Turians here. Your friend and another one he called Saren. I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform, probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I... I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I... I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? You ditch work, then you cower back here and do nothing while the Geth butcher everyone else. I don't even have a gun. What was I supposed to do? Run out there and die? I couldn't save them. Nobody could. It, it was horrible. Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. One minute that ship was descending, the next. Those Geth were swarming over the platform. Thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Feels like a whole other life. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I've never seen anything like it before. It... it was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And it was making this noise, this... this sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this.
Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Demolition charges! The Geth must have planted them! Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down! Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. 
It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Doctor? Dr. Chakwas? I think she's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Like the morning after shore leave. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. I expect better of you, Lieutenant. You endangered the entire mission. Don't be so hard on him, Commander. We have no idea if that's what actually set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. I don't suppose it occurred to you that Eden Prime has medical facilities. Listen, you're better off in this infirmary than in any hospital on Eden Prime. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction, nothing's really clear. Hmm, I better add this to my report. It may... Oh, Captain Anderson. How's our EXO holding up, Doctor? When all the readings look normal, I'd say the Commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. Did we leave Gunnery Chief Williams back on Eden Prime? I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. I don't want her on my ship. I'm the captain of this ship, Commander, and I want Williams on our crew. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. The Council can kiss my ass. I won't let them blame me for losing the Beacon. I didn't do anything wrong. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a Spectre, one of the best. A living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous. And he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how, I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of... vision. A vision? 
A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. <sighs> what are we gonna tell them? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a Spectre. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue and the Council will revoke his Spectre status. I'll contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew, and I'm glad we didn't lose you too. Things were pretty rough down there. Yeah, you never get used to seeing dead civilians. Doesn't seem right somehow. But at least you stopped Saren from wiping out the whole colony. I couldn't have done it without you. We're Marines. We stick together. And I'm just sorry that we lost Jenkins. There's nothing we could have done to save him. No, I know that. But I don't have to like it. It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Our first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. The Citadel Council's not gonna be happy about that. Probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. There's something big coming. I don't want anyone messing it up. You read me, Lieutenant? Five by five, ma'am. Is there anything else before we head ashore? Keep your concerns in check. You don't want to get a rep for questioning orders. Aye, aye, ma'am. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. How well do you know the Lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. 
There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. After what happened to Jenkins, the crew could use some good news. They'll be glad to hear you're okay. You're not assigned to this ship. Captain Anderson had me transferred to his command. Must have figured I knew what I was doing. You have a problem with me, Chief? You questioned my competence through the entire mission. Best way to stop that is to show me you're competent. But I don't remember inviting you to come back to the ship with us. You didn't. Captain Anderson did. I need to go speak with Joker. Goodbye, Commander. Go speak to Joker when you're ready. Tell him to bring the Normandy into dock. You're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on the crew. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster! Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. I'm not gonna sit on my ass just because the Council doesn't want to do anything. If they won't stop Saren, I will. Settle down, Commander. 
You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong, and it is the Asari Consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. What did this Asari do to get you so upset? I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Where can I find this Asari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Pleased greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Why do you bother, Kalen? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Remorseful response, Din. You don't truly believe that. And if you do, I am very sorry for you. Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. Tell me about the history and origins of the Elcor. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Proudly. Within one lifetime we established a regular route to the Citadel, and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, we Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups, though we are always welcoming to outsiders. Our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. What do you do here? Modestly. I work to bring the problems and the requests of the Elcor groups to the attention of the Council. Ha! Huh. 
They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. The Council doesn't care about our races. Chastising rebuke. Your tone is inappropriate, Dan. This human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived suspicions. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Good day to you, human. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. Greetings, and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. So are you a person or a program? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence, programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. <laughs> 